Social media has been buzzing all day with notifications about the big matchups that are set for tonight. I cannot wait for this event. Yeah, guys, I'm not sure what it is, but there's something in the air. It feels like it might be one of those nights that changes everything here in WWE. Backstage, Corey, has been growing with every minute. Everybody's raring to go. First match of the night. Here we go. Bring on the tables, ladders, and chairs. These fans say the more, the merrier. We have a great match coming up next against an imposing adversary. Let's do it. The phenomenal AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE. But since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker, phenomenal. The following contest is a table, ladders, and chairs match. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the ring of honor world heavyweight AJ Styles has champion. proven that he is a mastermind of offensive innovation, and it has taken him to the championship Champion. promised land on multiple occasions. One of the toughest individuals I have ever seen compete in a WWE ring. seeing TJP here compared to what? And his opponent from Los Angeles weighing in at 175 pounds TJP Byron you strike me as the kind of guy who dabs a lot uh, from time to time yeah you know who else does? My 10-year-old kid. It's oh, embarrassing. I mean, TJP's a grown man. Get in there and fight. Stop dancing. Stop posing. Stop reposting compliments on social media. It's a problem. It's a sickness. Okay, uh, well, your anger towards TJP aside, you got to give him his props, Corey. I mean, the guy was the first ever Cruiserweight champion. He basically anchored the rebirth of the Cruiserweight division. All right, I uh -huh. begrudgingly admit you're right on that point. Oh, uh, yeah. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. And he misses the mark. Talk about a rough landing. Scoop slam. to get the safety pull. I'm not sure he can. Down with a brain buster. That'll scramble your brain. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. 
In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena was the World Heavyweight Champion. The winner would leave as WWE World Heavyweight Champion. I mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the bottom rope. But Cena detached the rope and fought back against Orton. Both men struggled until the apex predator ripped Cena off the ladder, forcing him to land face first on a table. The Viper became immortalized when he grabbed both historic prizes and became the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Let's make sure everyone's clear on the rules of a TLC match. There are no pinfalls, no countouts, no disqualifications, and no submissions. The only way to win is to climb the ladder and retrieve the championship or championships that are suspended high above the ring. Earlier, Byron, you took us through the rules of a TLC match. Something to point out is that for TLC tag team matches, there are no traditional tag team match rules as far as tagging in and out with your partner. It's all team members in the ring at the same time, which used to be known as Texas Tornado Rules back in the day. TLC matches are fought under the premise of anything goes until it's time to climb the ladder and grab whatever's suspended over the ring. It's usually a championship. Since there are no rules, a superstar can do whatever they feel is necessary to reach the top of the ladder and climb straight to victory. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions, as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor and put Ambrose through a table. It wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. All right, don't blow this. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. Here's AJ Styles. Styles looking to change the course of this match. I guess he... here on top of the ladder. Yeah, not a neck but he's got to capitalize now. Well, you make it sound so easy, but if we're being real, it doesn't matter how many people are in the ring. Climbing that ladder is no easy task. And just when you think you're at the top and you're within inches of winning, you can bet one of your opponents will make you think otherwise. What do you think? They're not going to just sit there and let you win. I don't think so. This match has been 100 mile per hour since the opening bell. What a way to win a singles match. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Let's keep the action rolling along.
Get ready for some WWE magic. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have the doom. I cannot wait. to the ring at a combined weight of 440 pounds Cole Todd E. Bush and O. Carter This is the one this crowd has been waiting for guys tag team action coming up I can't wait Michael like this crowd I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced on good terms with them. Because they talk about you a lot. Oh, yeah? What do they yeah. say? They say, nerd! And their opponent at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Anderson and Luke Gallows. Anderson and Gallows, one of the all-time great tag teams around the world. Bonafide legend in the land of the rising sun. Anderson and Gallows, two of my favorite people to be around outside of the ring, because inside, they're all business. I'd like to hang out with Anderson and Gallows outside of the ring. You would never be invited to brother softly with these two guys. I'd like to have abs like Anderson. Oh, yeah, me too. Here we go, guys. Tag team action is underway. Wow. It not get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. The running senton. Crushing impact. Splash. Massive. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. He looks a bit off his game here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. 
I'm not going to go so far as to say he can't win this match, but things certainly aren't looking good for him right now. Oh. oh man, what a splash. Oh, right to the body. That hurts. He's looking a little weary here. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. This is not the time to be a hero. To oh, keep man. this match from slipping away, he needs to get his partner in there and take a break. A tale of two different superstars in this match right now. Nice. Now, one looks like he can take on the world, while the other looks completely battered. Oh, what a splash! It's starting to look bleak for him now. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. Yeah, this is hard to watch now. I mean, he is taking quite a beating in there. One of superstars in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment. They must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives the superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Trouble in paradise. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of, so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation, it might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. Was a game changer right there, Michael. Russian leg sweep. Set him up. Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. Look at this. Yeah, no question. He's showing great energy as usual. Be getting coached up right now. Earth shaking spine buster from the good brother himself. This might be the opportunity he needed. Digging deep for a kick out. Not yet. Look at this. And boom, with the cutter. Nice. Shut it down. He's got the ropes, and the pin is broken. He's got the shoulders down. And there's a kick out at one. That's all right, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This might be it. Oh, my. Controlling the oh nasty impact. Jarring impact. I don't know how much more of this he can take. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. I can't really tell what his game plan was heading into this match, but whatever it was, it definitely hasn't been working. the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents were playing catch-up. Check this out. Oh, that might have just broken something. The two out of three falls match is on the Hardy go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and wrestling matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. 
Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue the domination of Team Extreme, but boom! Rocket kick! That to do it! In May of 2017, he's... Boom! What impact! Oh, it's over! Momentum is fully a corner of Carl Anderson now. He's got to be running on empty. I'm having a hard time believing that one. Oh, man, what a hit. Right off right the apron. I think only a as treacherous as the... Anderson picks him up. Fireman's carry cutter. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He goes for the cover. They did it! Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Overall, this match was average at best, but not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. Impressive victory for the team, especially Carl Anderson, who really helped put this one away. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. Hope the next match lives up to the hype of the rest of the card. Time to see who can escape the enclosure in the time-honored battle we've come to know as a steel cage match. We have 15 feet of steel. The stakes are enormous, and it's all happening next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. This is going to be amazing. the new girls a lesson do not underestimate what Maria Canellis is capable of And 
from Pennsylvania, B. Tonga Kong. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So, social media, Michael, the opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. action is underway and in this one I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Nailed it. That's you in your head. starting to take a beating, but this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. Slow down, Cole. Your tone seems to suggest you think she's in trouble here. Trust me, it's going to take a lot more than this to keep her down, especially given the magnitude of this match. Her opponent clearly wants to prove a point tonight, and you know what? I think it's working. You've got to believe this one's over. Do this. I got right to the gut. Uh oh, no, don't do this. Don't. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh. Beautiful technique. The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the Rivals met inside a 15-foot high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. Splash! Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Rocky Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage, which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. The Ultimate Warrior dominated early on with his incredible strength. Rick Rude turned the tables and used the steel surroundings to his advantage. At one point, Rude dove from the top of the cage onto the Warrior. But after the Warrior's signature Gorilla Press Slam, the Ultimate One climbed over the cage and retained his WWE Championship. Headbutt! Oh, what impact! Oh, what impact! Oh, destroy your face! I think she's trying to prove a point here. Before 2000. Oh, nice sweep. Nicely done. That should do it. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Byron, before 2017's Extreme Rules, there were just three previous tag team matches where championship gold was decided inside a steel cage in the history of WWE special events. 
The Hardy Boys were in two of those matches. At Extreme Rules, in order to win the match, both members of a team had to exit the cage and have both feet on the floor. The Hardys used their famous continuity to gain the early advantage until Cesaro and Sheamus utilized their devastating power to slow the... There's still cage matches in the books. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. These fans got their money's worth in this one, as you can see right here. Here is your winner, B. Tonga Kong. Without even breaking a sweat, this one is over. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. I can't wait to see how the rest of the card shakes out here. It's about to get extreme up in here. Singles action is up next. You're not going to want to miss this. We have a real fan favorite taking on some tough competition. Time for things to get extreme. It is time for war. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, weighing in at 247 pounds. Well, Roe lives a Viking lifestyle, both inside and outside the ring. One of the toughest men I have ever known in my life. Fought back from a nearly fatal motorcycle injury in 2014 to get back in the game in WWE. If you're looking to get punched in the mouth and stretched six ways from Sunday, Rose, your huckleberry. You know, guys, some people were just built to be WWE superstars. And if history's taught us anything, Kurt Hawkins was probably more likely built to be an electrician. You know, we talk a lot about Asuka's winning streak. Kurt Hawkins has one of the great all-time losing streaks. I don't think the guy's won a match in his career. Well, that just means he's got more motivation to capture that one elusive victory. Or change careers. Kurt Hawkins is 0 for the century. Who cares? Byron, why does Hawkins carry that stick? You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one. Mano-a-mano. 
And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Watch out! Harsh impact! If you ask me, guys, matches like this where there are essentially no rules are one giant free-for-all where absolutely anything can happen. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. I like the way you describe this match, Byron. It's one giant free-for-all. And while it's exciting to watch, it's absolute torture on these superstars. It is cold, and unfortunately, matches like this usually result in injury. Sometimes serious injury. There it is. Did you hear that crack? There it is. Did you hear that crack? Oh boy, he is rolling. What's the secret to defeating Rogue? <laughs> this just might be enough for him to take the penny in predicament. The pinfall and the victory. Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. The next match has all the makings of a great one. Sit tight for singles action coming up next. Don't change that channel. We have singles action coming up. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Here's the man who's put the cruiserweight division on the map in WWE. The soul of WWE's cruiserweight division. Making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, the ring of Honor Television Champion, Cedric Alexander, Champion. The man's got hydraulics in his legs and dynamite in his fists. Cedric Alexander is fun to watch. 
And Cedric Alexander, no doubt, one of my favorite superstars. Although I gotta admit, guys, I kinda wish that whole relationship deal with Alicia Fox would have worked out. And his opponent from Virginia, weighing in at 180 pounds, Negren Butcher. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. And there's the bell. Oh. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you could show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. Man, this card is just packed with so many great oh, matches. And this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. some offense. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. DDT! Right the jaw! Oh, what a shot. Frederick Alexander is one of the most highly touted cruiserweights in recent history, but his road to the cruiserweight championship took a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, Michael, a lot of us expected to see Cedric contend for the title as soon as he joined 205 Live, but the drama with Alicia Fox and a knee injury kept him out of the title picture. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Cedric Alexander's path to the Cruiserweight Championship. He was actually number one contender before the tournament started, but had to compete in the Cruiserweight Championship tournament just like everybody else. A lesser man would have complained or put less than his best effort in, but it made Cedric fight harder than ever. It took almost two years, but Cedric Alexander became Cruiserweight Champion on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Cedric Alexander is perhaps the most balanced arsenal on 205 Live. He can hit you from the sky with his strikes or toss you into the lumbar check. How do you prepare for Cedric? Injuries happen to everyone who steps in the ring, and when they keep you sidelined for an extended period, you know it's a more serious ailment. 
Cedric Alexander missed five months with a knee injury. Do the math. Oh boy, he is rolling. Avoids trouble there. Discussing strategy against Cedric Alexander earlier, Corey mentioned Cedric's knee injury. Do you think that's a sound move, Byron? I don't know, Michael. A truly serious injury forces a competitor to change their move. Alexander's looking to end it. Nice plant. He's in the driver's seat now. We've got to cover. The cover, and this one's history. What a win. And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Cedric. The shoulders are down for three, and this one's in the books. There's nothing more pure than picking up a win in a good old-fashioned one-on-one fight. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. Done with one and on to another great matchup. Singles match coming up next. Now don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. Taking on some tough competition. Gonna settle the score. Ready to go here. Big, big match for this young man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Out of the crowd. He doesn't even realize. From behind. An ambush. What an attack. I can't believe this, Corey. Well, believe it because it just happened. Trying to get the upper hand and the bell rings. Here we go. Drew McIntyre returned to NXT and WWE to the newfound passion. We're seeing on display tonight. So impressive since coming back. Drew really Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze his opponents like a set of bagpipes. Mm. That metaphor was uglier than a pile of tags. The elbow! Ooh, right in the face! Destroyed! Technique. Drew McIntyre fans with some reason to worry here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. I've been a part of WrestleMania since 1999 and at ringside since 2003. And the biggest ovation I think I've ever heard was when the Hardy Boys returned in 2017. Headlock. Ooh! Ah, oh, stop in the leg! Just nasty. Oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. Michael brought up the return of the Hardy Boys at WrestleMania in 2017. The WWE Universe oh, hadn't man. seen either Hardy for six and a half years. So to make their return on the greatest stage of the... Uh-oh. Oh, nasty impact. Here's this Matt Hardy into the cover. He's not done fighting yet. Very nice. Matt Hardy, big move coming. 
Uh oh, twist of fate! So impressive. And into a kick cover is Matt Hardy. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Matt Hardy! Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And that's yet another great match the city of Baltimore has hosted over the years. It's now time for our main event. Singles match on tap next. This is going to be good. Making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. One of the baddest dudes to ever play the game. The first two-time NXT champion. A world-traveled, world-class competitor. One of the most well-rounded athletes sports entertainment's ever encountered. Yeah, the scenery may have changed in Samoa Joe's career, but the attitude is still the same. Samoa Joe does what he wants, when he wants. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 209 pounds, Jushin Thunder Liger. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match.
features clean off your face. What's coming next? You gotta believe this one's over. Hooked up in the corner. Explorer suplex. say watching this match I've definitely seen similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Now he's starting to stumble here. With these two guys we all knew this was going to be an all out battle. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. One of the brightest highlights of Samoa Joe's career came at 2017's Extreme Rules. There he defeated four of WWE's top superstars in a fatal five-way. Most people would not look forward to an immediate future that involves facing Brock Lesnar, but Samoa Joe thrived in the situation, overcoming the odds to become the number one contender to the Universal Championship. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Samoa Joe so dangerous, so vicious, so lethal. And here's an example of why. Suplex after suplex. The Camara Plex. No doubt about that one. He's done it. He's done it. I can't believe it. He's done it. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. There's no topping that main event, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. Have a great night. What's... Samoa Joe is looking to end this thing. Uh oh, I, know. I think I know what this superstar is going for. A, uh, a muscle buster. The muscle, muscle buster. buster. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. 